You know, Mustafa, not, it looks like Sanjay Raut leaves no opportunity to wave at crowds and, and to really uh, flex his muscle, to really show that he is defiant, untouched, unperturbed. Uh, and, and at this point, he's been moved towards the hospital for a medical check and then to court. Are people there trailing him? Do you see Shiv Senics who are standing outside the ED office? Who exactly did Sanjay Raut wave to? Well, yes, when Sanjay Raut came out, he waved at the media, the cameras which were placed outside the ED office. Not much, not much of the supporters of Shiv Sena was seen outside the ED office mm. this morning. There was a lot of police presence. There were very few, uh, five to ten Shiv Senics who were present, some office bearer of Shiv Sena who were inside near the ED office to who had come to Shiv but there was no protest or anything that of that sort which had happened and Sanjay Raut is still wearing that saffron muffler, the scarf which he was waving while he left his house yesterday and that, he that, continues that's to very symbolic wear that. to Raut. He was confident and as a routine a procedure. You know, that, that's very symbolic, that saffron stole, that scarf that he wears with the Shiv Sena symbol on it. He's been waving that uh, constantly, has not uh, taken it off ever since the ED raids happened at his home last morning. Uh, but today, for him to come out and wave at the crowds, you're saying there's hardly anyone outside the ED office. Who was he really waving at then? The cameras? <laughs> Yes, he was waving at the cameras and because there was not much of a crowd of the Shiv Sena supporters who were present outside the ED office, there was a lot of police presence seen. So there was no protest or sloganering seen from the Shiv Sena since morning. It was the media cameras who he was waving at. He then came and sat in, inside the car and now he's been on the way to, uh, to a hospital for a medical checkup. All right. You know, uh, a, bi a big moment for Sanjay Raut's family because they're really hoping that uh, he pulls off some legal loopholes to, f uh, to get away from custody, ED custody. But what's the likelihood, uh, Mustafa? You know, Sanjay Raut is uh, accused in a land scam case amounting to 1,034 crores. This is uh, the amount that the ED suspects has been laundered. Um, Sanjay Raut seems to be the man right in the middle of this entire scam and the ED also really looking at his role in facilitating the builder Praveen Raut uh, to carry out his construction and deprive many of the Marathi families of those apartments that they rightfully uh, were, were, were to receive. Uh, if these allegations are proven then Sanjay Raut is in for a long haul, isn't it? Well, yes, uh, the cases which are registered against him and the, the section under which the cases are registered, it seems like a stringent section and hence uh, it, uh, the, it will take time before, uh, you know, Sanjay Raut secures a bail. And also what the ED officials are telling us is that there are more cases which can be investigated if more complainants come out. So that is uh, something which we have to wait and see whether more cases come out and uh, more, uh, you know, investigations can go on. But even in this case, as the PMLA is a stringent act, you can say that it will take some time before uh, Sanjay Raut is out on bail. Right, you know, Mustafa, uh, so just after the Supreme Court gave unfettered powers to uh, the Enforcement Directorate to arrest if they suspect foul play under the PMLA Act, it appears that uh, questioning the ED on the arrest itself now will be a futile exercise and possibly uh, slightly harder now for Sanjay Raut to prove himself or to get away from uh, custody, ED custody in court today. It might just be hard for his counsel to relieve him. Correct. It's a, it's a formality uh, of some sort because it's likely that he will be sent in the ED custody. How many days is something depends on the hearing. At the same time, it looks like the ED will be asking for the maximum custody as much as possible so that they can, uh, you know, uh, question Sanjay Raut and uh, get more information from him. So it's likely that uh, uh, the custody will be given of Sanjay Raut uh, for, to the ED. But for how many days is something we have to wait and see and whether. Uh, the investigations which uh, have started uh, from Praveen Raut, Reesh Sanjay Raut, can more names from Shiv Sena uh, prop up in this case is something which the Enforcement Directorate is also looking at, especially as 
the Mumbai Municipal Corporation elections are upcoming. Shivsena has ruled uh, this corporation for last 30 years. So now it seems that uh, the agenda of corruption is uh, uh, something which uh, would be raised by the BJP with more and more scams coming out and people getting arrested. So mm. that is something which uh, we'll have to wait and watch for. But as of now, it is difficult for Sanjay Rao to come out of jail anytime soon. Back to you. You know, we, we, we're looking at uh, a few Maha Aghadi leaders, Maha Vikas Aghadi leaders, tall leaders who have been quite uh, uh, vocal, vociferous with, with their uh, criticism against the Modi government, uh, be it uh, Nawab Malik, again, he, his allegations uh, of associating with Daud Ibrahim has been pulled out by the ED. He is now behind bars for a long while now. Uh, next, we're looking at Sanjay Rawat also. A few more within the Mahavikas Aghadi who is now behind bars and ha they, haven't, they haven't gotten out of prison for, for a few months now. Are we looking at the same fate for Sanjay Rawat? Well, yes, it looks like uh, they, because they have been arrested in the similar cases, the similar sections of PMLA Act, mm. it is uh, true that it is uh, difficult to secure a bail under the PMLA Act sections and uh, uh, um, many of the cases were, uh, you know, bundled up and put before Supreme Court uh, saying that there is a misuse of power of enforcement directed, but Supreme Court didn't agree and they said that whatever ED is doing is uh, doing just fine, so that powers are still with the enforcement directed and it is difficult uh, to get a uh, bail and under the PMLA Act. So it then take months uh, because if you see, look at Anil Deshmukh and Nawab Malik who have been arrested earlier, they yeah. still continue to be in judicial custody, they still continue to be in jail. So it's, it's likely that similar fate will be met with uh, Sanjay Raut. Yeah, yeah, you rightly said Anil Deshmukh, Nawab Malik and now Sanjay Raut. Uh, we're looking at these, at least uh, Anil Deshmukh and Nawab Malik have been in prison now for, for quite a few months. They haven't uh, been able to secure bail. Sanjay Raut now has been taken into custody by the enforcement directorate. They're going to be taking him to uh, a medical checkup and then to court. According to my colleague Mustafa, this is merely formality. It, it may not be possible for Sanjay Raut at this point or his counsel to relieve him from arrest. Uh, which, which would mean the ED might prolong the, his uh, custody uh, for, for as long as they want to, as long as they believe that uh, they haven't found enough evidence or, or that Sanjay Raut has not been cooperating uh, or, or that he could likely influence uh, stakeholders in this crime. Uh, so, so here we're looking at Sanjay Raut headed towards the, uh, uh, the hospital there for a medical checkup and then from there on the court. Uh, again, Mustafa, which hospital, which court will he be taken to? Well, uh, currently they are on the way to JJ Hospital, which is a government hospital, and then the PMLA court, which is at the Sessions Court in the Fort area. So PMLA court is where the Sanjay Raut will be produced, as our uh, colleague Vidya was telling us from the court that there are two courts. One, one is a special PMLA court, the other is a specific court which has been made for MPs and MLAs. As Sanjay Raut is a Rajya Sabha MP, so whether in that court uh, the hearing will take place is a question. So we'll have to wait and see how it goes, but yeah, it will be the Sessions Court where uh, the designated courts are for the PMLA sections and it's there when uh, that Sanjay Raut will be produced and uh, the hearing will take place. It's likely that from the government side the ASG will be representing and uh, uh, we'll have to see who represents Sanjay Raut's side but uh, before this, uh, in this similar case, Pravin Raut has been arrested. He continues to be in jail. Now Sanjay Raut will be produced and maybe in the remand copy we'll get to hear uh, to, uh, what are the exact grounds on which uh, Sanjay Raut has been arrested yesterday.